Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> or ride our bike around the halls? Fast as fast can be! You'll never catch me! Oh. No, that was good, man. What was it? It was so good, Neil. Oh, coddle me. Oh, how did you Thank you, Goro, from Mortal Kombat. Is it time? Yes. Giant Christmas tree. Thanks a lot. No Pepsi? You might as well tell me there's no Santa Claus. I don't think I'm supposed to be running across the street. Wow, look at this tree. Wow. I gotta take this nail. Okay. Happy Holidays! When do you put out your Christmas decorations, Tyler? June 1st. June 1st. The year before the Christmas. Brandon, ask me what kind of tree I have. No. Just Brandon, ask me what kind of tree. It's a Chris Pine. We're talking about the tree of life versus the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Speaking of tree of life. You ready? Stay with me, Neil. Tree of life! That's not real, bro. Go there and lick it. Oh! You no. can't hold me. All joking aside, when we're talking about the tree of life, remember we're talking about Jesus. One of the results from a relationship with Jesus is innocence. In Genesis 3, verse 7, says Adam and Eve, they realized that they were naked, naked, naked. Gosh, there's a guy over there. Naked. In the comments, which version of N-A-K-E-D do you prefer? Naked. And I say naked. Which way do you say? Innocence in our relationship with God means that we are transparent. We're just real and honest with Him. Adam and Eve had no idea that being naked, naked, was anything to be ashamed of. And then sin came into the picture and changed that. Walk with me, Neil. Keep up, man. Can't do it. Aaron Sorkin. Here we go, Neil. Keep up. We gotta get our, our steps We're the West in. Wing, Tyler. That's what I said Aaron Sorkin. He was yeah. West Wing, right? Yeah. Sick. Yep. Every comedy show has already parodied every Aaron Sorkin trope. Think of innocence like a little kid. Little kids, they're not like stressed out with taxes, no. car payments, life insurance, car insurance. Kids don't care about recycling or reducing no. or reducing. Oh, they care nothing about it. They don't even understand how funny Geico commercials are. Do you kids know what escrow means? Don't even worry about brushing their teeth. They don't even care. That's what I'm talking about. So because of that, they have no shame. They have no, no guilt. They are just innocent. They That's that childlike innocence. They live in their best life, Neil. Wow. Wow. Those kids are innocent. There is no hesitation in them. They don't hesitate. Now, Jesus talked about that in Luke 18, 16. Can I read it? Okay. Thanks, man. I got it. Woo! I got you, Tyler. My arms! I got it. I can do this! We're Jesus said this. Luke 18, 16 says, Let the little children come to me. Don't stop them. Because God's kingdom belongs to people who are like these little children. He wanted us to have that innocence. He, that's what he wants. When he's saying be like these little kids, he's not talking about be a little kid. He's saying when you come to me, have an innocence about you where you're not holding anything back. You're not trying to hide something, Correct. but you're just being real. Yes, you're not putting on a facade for him. You're being you. How do you spell facade? F-A-C-A-D-E. It was all just a big facade. You want to hold that, Neil? Sure. Sweet. Still okay. filming, still, still recording? We haven't been recording any of this. Would you pray us out, man? I'll pray us out. God, please help us to be open and honest with you and to be real. We want to be innocent in the way we approach you. God, we're thankful for the way you restore and rescue us even when we have made mistakes. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, here. Now, still the camera in the air. We done. Wow. Just kidding. <laughs> it's your camera. Our car's that way. Yeah, cool. Here we go. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the idiot now?